Turkey's goal in Afrin is clear, eliminate the threat of the YPG terror group along its border. The YPG took over the area from Syrian regime forces back in 2012 and has held on ever since. It controls 65% of the Turkish-Syrian border. Turkey's priority has been to prevent them from establishing a land corridor. The PKK affiliate is trying to create an ethno-state known as Rojava, a seamless corridor in Kurdish strongholds along Syria's north. To accomplish this goal, they have ethnically cleansed Arabs and Turks living under their control, forcing many to flee. Located near the Mediterranean Sea, Afrin is strategically important for the YPG to get military aid. This is where it gets complicated. The U.S. provides support to the YPG because it believes it is a strategic partner in the fight against Daesh. Turkey, the U.S., EU and NATO all consider the PKK to be a terrorist group, but Washington has insisted the YPG is a separate group. Listen to this 2016 exchange between then U.S. Defense Secretary Ash Carter and Senator Lindsey Graham. Is the PKK a terrorist organization in the eyes of the Turkish government? Uh, yeah, the PKK is a terrorist organization not only in the eyes of the Turkish government, but in the eyes of the U.S. government as well, uh, Senator. Uh, is it as surprising to you that the Turks may be upset with us by arming the YPG in Syria? since they're so closely aligned with the PKK. No, it's not. No, it's not at all, sir. The U.S. has maintained its relationship with the YPG is temporary and tactical. Ankara has remained vehemently opposed to this arrangement. Attempts have been made by the PKK to infiltrate into Turkish territory through the Afrin mountains. They have also continually made efforts to support terrorism in Turkey by smuggling militants, arms, and ammo from Syria. What both the U.S. and Turkey do agree on is civilian casualties should be avoided. In the planning and execution of the operation, only terrorists and their shelters, buildings, weapons, tools, and equipment will be targeted, and all kinds of attention and sensitivity will be shown to prevent civil and innocent people from being harmed. With its mission clearly stated, Turkey now must walk the fine line of protecting its borders and civilians at the same time. Adil Halim, Straight Talk.